Atlantic head coach Dan Vargas and uh, day is done and what a finish for the girls. Claire Pellet and Ava Rush on the deck. Um, Ava Rush, 48th a year ago, ninth this year. Claire Pellet, 85th and 15th this year. Talk about their race today. Yeah, uh, fantastic races by both of them. Uh, very smart races. Uh, you know, a year ago, I think there's a little bit of inexperience, some nerves. Uh, you know, the, the training leading up to that, we tried something different last year, and obviously that didn't uh, contribute to a lot of success for what they expected. Uh, but then this year, uh, you know, with their hard work, the, the way that they put in everything this year and, and, and the way they went about their business, they came in a lot more focused. Uh, they were relaxed, uh, but focused. Uh, and ran a smart race. I, I think they were in the 30s coming through about the first mile or so. Uh, I did a lot of work on the back half. Ava was sitting about top 15th with a mile to go or so. And then uh, Claire Pellet was still sitting 20th with a thousand and did a lot of work on that little back section and down the home stretch. So they, they both ran to their strengths. They both left a little bit of that kick at the end so that they could catch some people and gave themselves a chance and both earned themselves an all-state honor. And uh, for Ava, that's a great way to end your career in cross country. Well, it is. And I don't think you were terribly surprised. I mean, you, you figured they'd be in the top 25, right? Absolutely. And, you know, I, I did expect them both to have a chance of being on the deck. I knew, uh, you know, with the way they've been running that they could both do it. Um, it was one of those things where, you know, when you coach your kids, sometimes you, you don't tell them all the information. Uh, you know, you tell them top 25 and uh, sometimes you tell a kid, hey, you should go get 10th. There's, there's just that added pressure that they don't need. Um, you know, we felt confident, they feel confident. Just go out and run, you know, predicting doesn't mean anything. It's just like all the other sports. You can predict and rank until you're blue in the face, but um, ultimately sports are about performance and those two girls went out and performed today. Well, Claire Pellet's got something to build off of going to next year. So does Belle Berg. Uh, she runs her first uh, state meet, and I think she's excited uh, about uh, moving forward on this experience this year. Absolutely. You know, she uh, she cut a lot of time from this season to, to get here as well. Um, you know, our, our girls seem just a little bit short, but she was a big reason why we were right on that edge, moving up to third for us. Um, you know, today I think she finished 81st, but uh, she wasn't overly happy with her result. But, you know, we talked about last year we had girls go 80th and, and then went on the, the deck this year so that's part of the game is improving learning the conf uh, learning how to run in this kind of situation to get confident this is a big meet um, this is why we go over to those meets in the middle of the season that we've talked about and, and all that and some of those meets we didn't get to have I think would have been beneficial but um, you know I was still happy with the way Bell ran she went out she battled she competed um, I enjoyed watching her get to end her season at Fort Dodge and that's what we talked about with all the kids um, even if you're not overly happy with your result you ended at Fort Dodge and there's a lot of people that didn't you know as a coach I never was here as, a, as an athlete so uh, I, I'd love to, to get to see every one of these kids here and, and I thought Bell did a great job and had a great season. Well, uh, Devon Fields uh, got his feet wet here at the state meet, too. Talk about his performance today. Yeah, he, he ran uh, great to get here. He had to put in a lot of work to qualify. Um, and then today, imagine going out as a sophomore on that start line by yourself. Yeah. A little bit of intimidation and, and things like that that, you know, just kind of hits you. And he went out and he ran with the pack early on. And uh, he finished, I think, 103rd. Um, but again, he ran 1803, which is ahead of where he ran most of the season. Uh, his last two races were super fast. Uh, but coming, coming up here, it's, it's just a little bit different animal. And as a sophomore, he got some val very valuable experience. Uh, and hopefully we can build off that, not just with him, but with the whole program. But I was uh, super happy for Devon because, again, he was not on that on that edge of qualifying. And he ran really well to get here. And, uh, again, ending here is a, a big accomplishment that not a lot of people get to say they've done. Well, Coach, thanks a bunch. Congrats. Uh, great finish here today. Thank you very much, Tom.